It's Wednesday on Quixie 98.3. Time for Forever Friends. Today, I'm joined by Miranda. How are you doing, Miranda? I'm doing good. Glad to be back with you. I'm glad to have you back. And uh, last week, we had a guest um, that was, who, who was that again? That was Animal Control Officer Milks. Milks. Yep. And a very nice gentleman. Uh, something else that happened last week, uh, late last week, is you did an adoption special. We did. Um so who our adoption special just ended I, I don't remember the exact numbers we're somewhere between about 30 and 40 adoptions just from that adoption special and um, it was a little under a week long so that's doing pretty good we definitely needed the space yeah but uh, uh, from my understanding is the the it, it helped you kind of clear some room to, and there's always pets that need oh, adoption yes. so. um there is always pets that need adoption um even if you miss the adoption special please come down and see us um i looked at our numbers this morning as of right now we have 101 cats in our care wow and 61 dogs so still lots of fe- still, pets that need some good oh homes. yes yeah all right well hey since we're talking about pets that need good homes what are our pets this week um so i'm gonna start with our kitty cat this week Um, As of right now, we don't really have many adult holds up for adoption, so I'm going to talk to you about Lloyd. Um, He is a three-month-old neutered male with uh, white and orange markings. This little fella loves playtime. He gets along with cats of all ages, whether they're his age or adults. He don't mind. Um, He's been waiting for almost a month to find his new family, and he's currently accepting visitors um, in our front lobby. Uh, How old is Lloyd? Three months. He, I was going to say, he looks like a pretty young little kitty there. Yeah, he's a little ball of energy, too. So. <laughs> well, those are the best kind. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, and then for our dog this week, we're going to talk about Max. Um, Max is a two-year-old neutered male husky Max. Uh, he loves to be outside. He loves to give hugs. Um, he's been at the shelter since April 4th and is still waiting for his forever oh, family. that's too bad. Yeah, he's um, probably our longest resident right now. So If you look at that picture, it's like a portrait. Yes, he's a nice smile and kind of composed well. He's a happy go lucky little fella. So <laughs> he yeah. definitely needs a good forever home. So um, I know we talked about the overall numbers. Uh, what do our just overall adoption numbers look like? Yeah, so out of the animals that we've talked about here on the show, um, we have adopted out 173 out of 174. Wow. Yeah. That um, is fantastic news. Our only one that has not been adopted yet is poor little Toby. Oh, um, he's. Still waiting, so you know, come see him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, if somebody wants to learn more about Toby, Max, or Lloyd, the three, uh, the two animals that we talked about today, or or uh, any other services that the shelter offers, how can people get in contact with you all? We always suggest coming down and visiting with us, especially if you're interested in adopting a new um, furry family member. Uh, we're located at 220 Peterson Drive in E-Town. Uh, you can reach us by phone. Uh, you'll most likely be talking to me. And you can call at 270-769-3428. Or um, you can visit our Facebook page uh, where we have pictures of most of our adoptable dogs. And it is Hardin County Animal shelter Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Right. And when they stop by, they can see uh, BC as well. Oh, yes. He is always <laughs> happy to greet people. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time, Miranda. This is Forever Friends on Quixie 98.3, brought to you by Pet Supplies Plus on Town Drive in Elizabethtown.